Man, I remember the first day of college, bright-eyed, excited, with everything new. But what I didn't realize was... How fast it would fly by. So in this video, I want to talk about the five lessons I learned in college. Man, I was pretty excited for first year, I'm not gonna lie. Getting the chance to live under your own roof for the first time was bound to be an experience, no matter how humble of a space it was. Hashtag MTV Cribs. This is my desk computer shit. That's my bed. This room smells so nice, you guys don't even understand. It's that, this little thing my mom bought me. It makes the room smell amazing. This is the kitchen. This is the shower. Couch, things, whatever. The, this refrigerator, there's that. Head upstairs is someone else's room. Here's the entrance. Can't really see it. Dark. Whatever. Here's the other washroom. That was the definition of this meme. But the first lesson I quickly learned in university was that at the end of the day, it's all up to you. And what does that mean? It means if you want to miss your 8 a.m. linear algebra lecture and sleep in, you can. Although I wouldn't recommend it. It means after suddenly finding yourself with thousands in disposable income, you can eat pizza and candy 24-7, although I wouldn't recommend it. It means if you don't want to rely on student loans, you're going to have to work. Even if that means going into the office in the early morning. in the kitchen at night. Clean up. <laughs> and then coming home exhausted and doing it all over again. So first year really made clear to me that the best person to keep you accountable is you. Because that's what you're going to be living with for the rest of your life. At the end of the day, it's all up to us. Man, I think second year is probably my favorite year in terms of just experiences because at this point you've kind of got this whole university thing down but you're not doing it alone it is up to you to keep yourself accountable but it does take a village to raise a child so i learned it's important to have a crew around you that means both family and friends because in university more times than not you're going to be with your friends more than your own family so it's important to surround yourself with good people that inspire you motivate you and vice versa so I wanted to thank my crew. All the late nights studying, the shawarma and ball runs, the random FaceTimes. And most importantly, I want to thank my amazing mom and sister for all their wisdom and delicious care packages. I couldn't have done it without my crew. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> middle child of the university year but after the highs in the first two years there was bound to be some L's and third year did present its fair share of L's from struggling on some tests to things just not falling the way you want them to fall so in my third year I realized everyone has their fair share of L's the most successful people have more L than they do W's the most important takeaway is to learn from your mistakes because every mistake is an opportunity to grow you got to advocate for yourself and you can never ever make the same mistake twice. I'm the fourth year rolled around, I already had one foot out the door. It was a lot of my friends this year, and, but because I was in a five-year program, I had a little extra time, which caused me to kind of worry a little bit because I still had no idea what my passion was. But I realized with time that that was okay, despite how assured everyone looks. Everyone's still just figuring things out, no matter how old they are. You can be good at and do a lot of things in your life. I learned not to worry so much about the future because, well, before you know how many years will have flown by, just trust in the plan. Things have a funny way of working out in the end, they always do. You just might not see it at the time.
Can everyone hear me? Hello? Let me just turn my camera on one moment. Man, fifth year was the year everything changed. When people are fighting for toilet paper at the grocery store and everything's shutting down, school is honestly the last of your worries. Because of everything going on, school got stripped down to its most basic form online lectures and it had everyone wondering what we're paying such crazy fees for when you can learn everything you need with the internet in my fifth year i learned that there's more than one route to the goal meaning not everyone needs to go to university although it does open a lot of doors it isn't mandatory to succeed in the future so think carefully about what it is that you want for the future for me i thought the real value lay in the experiences and the people that you met but your mileage may vary. So after five years, all that was left was the big day and the start of a new art. years in the blink of an eye i hope you enjoyed this video i enjoyed making it and if you've made it to the end you're a real one thank you for watching join me in taking this stroll down memory lane